everybody, welcome back. We're here today with Chef Christian Froelich from the Marriott in Macon, Georgia. And uh, today you're representing the uh, vintage, the award-winning vintage restaurant. Chef, what are you gonna prepare for us today? Today we have a uh, rigatoni with smoked chicken and a uh, Parmesan cream sauce. Very nice. Tell us a little bit how you prepared that, Chef. Well, we saute a little bit of garlic, uh, the smoked chicken, the, uh, some sun-dried tomatoes. Okay. I'm gonna finish that with uh, baby spinach and some Parmesan cheese. Sounds, sounds great. Can you plate that for us? Absolutely. Ah, that looks a great color, Chef. Thank you. Just want to, uh, there in the very end, just melt some of that spinach in so it still has some character left there. Very nice. That's a great looking plate. What kind of cheese, Chef? Parmesan Reggiano. Nice. Ah, that looks super. I can't wait to taste that, but before we do, Chef, I'd like to toast you and your restaurant. And we've chosen a Chardonnay from Gallo Sonoma, so congratulations, Chef. Your plate looks great. And to you. Hey, welcome back everybody. We're here with Chef Christian Froelich from the Marriott in Macon, Georgia. And he's representing the Vintage Restaurant, award-winning Vintage Restaurant down in the hotel. And Chef, what are you gonna prepare for us today? Well, we have a uh, Southern Classic today, twisted a little bit of a modern style, fried green tomato. Oh, wow. Yeah, we use the, uh, the wedges so that you uh, get more of the tomato, less of the breading, although the breading is absolutely a key element. And can you show us how you plate that, Chef? Absolutely. Is this a very popular uh, item in your restaurant? Oh, extremely popular. It's probably our, our most popular item that we carry. Ah, that looks great. And as a garnish? As a garnish, yes, we have a uh, classic remoulade, uh, which uh, is a fancy way of saying what we call in the South tartar sauce, that we add uh, nice uh, chunks of bacon into there. Oh, nice. Can't so, go wrong with bacon. We like, our, we like our deep fried in the South, and we like our pork. A little bit, uh, little bit more of that bacon on top. Ah, that looks great, Chef. And Chef, uh, before we taste that, can I toast you today? Absolutely. And I understand you chose a Pinot Grigio from Santa Margarita? Yes. Great. Sounds like a great pair. Congratulations to you. Best of luck. Thank you. And, and to you, bon appetit. Welcome. We're here today with Jim Softley, Master Mixologist. And Jim, I understand you're going to share some of your handcrafted drink recipes with us today? Yes, I am. And we're going to have some fun doing it. Great. Jim, take it away. Thank you. Okay, the first cocktail we're going to make today is a blueberry mojito. Now, mojitos originated in the 1800s in the sugarcane fields of Cuba. Uh, they came to this country during Prohibition when Americans went down to Cuba to drink illegally. So the one we're going to make today is going to be a modern day twist on it. I'm going to take about six to eight mint leaves, all fresh ingredients, slightly bruise them, break a vein in it to get the flavor out. Then I'm going to take about eight to ten blueberries, put them on top, crush the blueberries slightly. Then I'm going to take my blueberry vodka and I'm going to pour an ounce and a half, slowing my pour down building everything in the pint glass, of course. Then I'm going to use my lime juice, which I squeezed earlier today. Ounce and a half. Slow pour. And the last thing I'm going to put in at this point is a simple syrup, equal parts. Half water, half sugar. Ice. Club soda. And I'm gonna use my Boston shaker. Nice tight seal. Just a couple shakes to mix it up a little bit because of the club soda. Put too much club soda, it's gonna explode on you. So, pour it back in the glass. Pour the cocktail on the Collins glass. Nice mint sprig for garnish. My straw. I'm serving it to the lady. That right there is happiness in a glass. Enjoy. Good drink, isn't it? Okay, the next cocktail we're gonna make is a cucumber margarita. Now, if you look back at the margaritas, again, we're doing another uh, new school twist on an old school libation. Uh, there's about six different stories about the origin of the margarita. 
I like my story the best. A whole bunch of people made the same drink at the same time, so they all named it the margarita. So therefore, uh, we call it the margarita. So what I'm going to do with this, which again, like I said, this is one of my original cocktails. I'm going to take a cocktail glass. I'm going to take a lemon going around it, because we're going to rim the glass with some chili and salt powder that I made earlier. And you want to push it in there, get a nice, nice coat around it like that. So I'm taking two slices of English cucumbers. English cucumbers are seedless cucumbers. I'm taking my muddler and I'm beating them up pretty good because I want the flavors to come out at the end of the taste. So once we got the cucumbers muddled, I'm using a silver tequila. Silver tequilas are just out of the vat. They're not aged at all, so you're just getting a clean, pure tequila taste. No little oakiness on this, which is not bad if that's what you like. So an ounce and a half of silver tequila, one ounce of triple sec, fresh squeezed lime juice. I'm going to use one ounce. Simple syrup. I'm going to use about a quarter of an ounce because I want this to be a dry cocktail. I don't want it to be a sweet cocktail. Therefore, if it's too sweet, then the, the sugar is going to overshadow all the flavors, the seven flavors that I'm putting into this cocktail. So now we're ready to ice it. My Boston shaker, nice tight seal. I'm going to shake this for 10 seconds hard. Again, shake it to wake it up. Back into the pint glass for the visual. My julep strainer. Enjoy. Thank you.